have my scissors must unbox. <laughs> And today I'm here with an unboxing video of this giant box from Fierce Reads. I'm thinking that it's a box of their arcs for either winter or fall. Honestly, I have no idea, but it showed up on my doorstep, so I'm super excited about it. So without further ado, let us get started. Why are things so hard to open? It might honestly just be a box of paper. It appears to be a box of paper. Ooh, baby. Oh my god, there's so many. There's six books in here. Oh my gosh, thank you so much to Fierce Reads. Holy crap. They are actually arcs of winter 2019. So that's super exciting. Now I just have to actually figure out what these books are. So I will be back in a a little while. I'm going to show you them in the order that they are supposed to be released in. So the first book in the package is Grand Sacker by Emmy Laybourne and this is apparently a companion novel to a book called Berserker which I haven't actually read before so I actually just downloaded it onto my phone from my library overdrive so I'm going to read that so that I can read this. I don't know if you need to read that first because it is a companion novel but I believe that this one follows one of the siblings that were in the first book. I'm not 100% sure. I tried to do a little bit of research on it, but you know, I'm really bad at being a booktuber, so. It says that Berserker combines the magic of Norse mythology with the thrill of the American West with staggering results, startlingly original, and put it downable and electrifying. That was about the first book. This one is apparently about rare powers, precious metals, and a final showdown. It says that it's a historical fantasy, so that's interesting. I don't think I've ever read a historical fantasy. It follows a group of siblings who have these magical powers from the Norse gods. The youngest sibling named Sissel is 16 and she discovers that her gift is that she's a ransacker. It means that she can find precious metals and gold and bring them to her and that makes her very valuable in this society. A young man is courting Sissel and that's when she discovers that he is actually a Pinkerton spy for the man who is trying to kidnap her in order to use her powers to his advantage. So her and her siblings run off to a different place and that's when the owner of a local mine discovers that she has a very lucky touch when it comes to gold so he decides that he's going to hire her in order to help him mine this precious metal. Sizzle can't decide who she can trust and who she can't so it's kind of the story of that. Again, I don't know if you need to read the first book or not but I'm gonna read the first one before I read this one. This is supposed to come out January 2019 so I did a pretty poor job explaining it because I'm a little bit confused because I didn't read the first book, but intrigued because, I mean, it would be pretty cool to be able to bring gold to you. I mean, money, money, am I right? Am I right, ladies? The next book that was in the package is actually a graphic novel, and it's called Bloom, and this is by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Gancho. It's about a boy named Ari who is working at his parents' bakery, and he really wants out. That's when Ari meets Hector, who absolutely loves baking, and he gets a job at the bakery, and that's when they start to get to know each other, and they become closer through the art of bakery and it's basically their story. So I think that it sounds super cute and I love me some graphic novels recently so I'm pretty excited about this one and also it's gay so I'm I'm excited. This is supposed to be released February 2019. The next book in the package is called The Beast Player and it's by Nahoku Iwashi? I don't know how to say that, but it sounds really cool. It says that it's an epic fantasy about a girl with a special power where she can communicate with animals, and I'm just saying, I would die if I could communicate with animals, so I'm pretty excited about this one. It also says that there is a warring kingdom only she can save, so I'm gonna guess that she somehow incorporates these animals into helping her with this war, but... 
Who really knows? I'm intrigued though. This is supposed to release March 2019. The next book is Small Town Hearts and this is by Lily Vale. The book follows a girl named Babe who just recently finished high school and she has the whole summer in front of her to spend with her two best friends. But then her two best friends end up kissing and break their little group apart and her ex-girlfriend is in town again and so things are a little bit rocky. Then she meets a boy named Levi who is quite mysterious and she starts spending time with him but it turns out that he is a tourist so she knows that she shouldn't get involved with him because he's going to leave at the end of the summer but she can't help being drawn to him and it's kind of their story so I'm intrigued I think it's gonna be super cute it's probably gonna be super fluffy so it'll be good for when I'm done reading a lot of thriller books because we know I'm always reading thriller books and sometimes you need a break from all the stabby stabby murder murder so this will be a nice little break from that. This one is also supposed to be released March 2019. The next book in the package I love solely just because it is so purple and it is Squad by Maria McCarthy. It follows a girl named Jenna who is a cheerleader for her high school and she's always felt that she belonged but recently she's been feeling that her her best friend Regine is actually beginning to turn the entire squad against her and she's feeling very bullied and it's kind of this story about that and how she's coming to terms with that since she's never felt bullied before. I think that is going to be a good insight to how some teenagers feel so I'm kind of intrigued by it. This one is also supposed to be released in March 2019 so I got a while to read it, but hopefully I get to it soon. And then the final book is a collection of essays, and it's called Strangers Assume My Girlfriend Is My Nurse by Shane Burkall. Like I said, it is a collection of essays about a man named Shane Burkall. He has a neuromuscular disease, which causes him to be in a wheelchair. Because of this, people treat him very childlike, and it's not how he wants to be treated. He wants to be treated like the 20 something year old he is. So it's kind of the stories that he's experienced throughout his life and it says that it's really funny. So I'm intrigued, I'm excited, I like funny memoir kind of things. So hopefully we like this one. I'm kind of bummed out because it says that there's pictures, but it doesn't actually have pictures since it's an arc, so that kind of sucks. All right, guys, so that is my package from Fierce Reads. I want to say thank you so, so much to the publishers for sending me these review copies. I cannot wait to dive into them. Let me know down below if you guys are excited for any of these and if you're going to end up purchasing or reading them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!